So I'm here speaking with Scott, and this is a Grade 7 Montessori uh, yeah. classroom yeah. at Maple Grove Elementary School. And, yeah. uh, just tell us a little bit about all the projects you've been working on. Sure, so right now, today, they have their uh, science celebration, and they've been working on it for about four weeks or so, at home and some in class. Um, and so that's today, and tomorrow they have another project due, which is their Great Works, which is a, a year-long project where they do choose a theme, and then they bring in uh, their own independent project, and they do that just at home. Well, just tell us, uh, what is the title of your project, and what did you intend to find out? So it's um, basically, it's um, futuristic technology that's powered by environmental Resources. We also explain how a natural solar power car works and how um, rain, the sun, and the wind, wind um, makes electricity. This um, actual car has traveled um, 4,800 kilometers across Australia, so it shows that wind power isn't like necessarily like a really slow energy source anymore. Um, and so this is like a mini like solar power car. Um, we were going to take a video, but we forgot. So um, basically, it actually went pretty fast um, for something so small. Like um, we had to like angle it up for like the sun, and it had to be like directly in sunlight. Well, our project is uh, quicksand, as you can see, and we uh, pick um, we pick this uh, topic to okay, just. Um, just kind of because there has been a lot of misunderstanding about quicksand in the movies and stuff because a lot of people think you'll die if you if you just fall into quicksand you'll die but it is actually impossible to die to die to sink in quicksand or to drown actually well being this new generation we definitely use the computer a lot um, also going back a little bit using a few uh, books there weren't too many that were in our local library so that was a little bit harder and then we just kind of went together, we got together a few times yes. and just wrote up this stuff. Mostly we were playing around with this, <laughs> just our little model there. If you displace the weight, because it's actually not, it won't sink, like there's no suction coming from it. If you just displace your weight, you won't sink. But if you have something like a pencil, right, where the weight is coming just onto this tip, and you put it down, it sinks very easily. You can't actually tell too bad, but if you put your hand in there, you definitely feel it. It sinks.